Your three minute question and answer period for the TD Entrepreneurship Challenge will now begin. How do you measure the long-term impact of your project on participants or businesses? For sure. So we measure the long-term impact on participants and businesses by having bi-monthly checkups with each of the businesses. So each every two months, both of the PMs talk to their respective clients and ask whether they've been satisfied with our work. And we also do feedback sessions with all of our associates to make sure that they're satisfied with what ETP is doing and how they've improved in the process. How do you define success for this project? So in terms of success, like whenever we have our first client meeting, we do talk to them about the specific problem that the clients are facing. So depending on the problem, we do uh, have, we, we do finalize some deliverables, which just translates, uh, translates whatever the problem is in terms of actionable objectives. So whatever we, whatever we do, we have like two to three deliverables in with every client. So as soon as we achieve those objectives, those actionable objectives, we do feel that we have helped the client in terms of success. Can you clarify what you achieved this year versus previous years? For sure. So one of the main successes that we had this year was onboarding one more client compared to the previous year. So in previous years, we only used to have five clients, but this year we onboarded one more additional to make six clients. We also established an ETP website to help with outreach in future years because we found that outreach is very difficult, especially during the pandemic. So we want to have that website to make sure that our outreach capabilities were a lot more easier and more efficient. And lastly, we also hosted workshops with Professor Murdoch and with Bridgespace to teach our associates more about networking during COVID-19 and for them to improve their consulting skills. What was the biggest challenge you faced when implementing this project and how did you overcome it? So in terms of the challenges, like the first one was definitely to onboard clients. So that's one of the main reasons as well that we set up a website because we want to definitely change that in future years where we are not reaching out to the clients, but the clients are reaching out to us. And secondly, would just be to uh, recruit uh, the consultants during exam season and during the busy times of the year because we were expanding even during the pandemic and moving everything virtual was definitely a challenge in itself. So I feel these were the main two challenges that we faced this year. Which area of your project do you see as the most innovative and why? So I think the most innovative part of our project is that we're focusing on one specific industry compared to other projects in entrepreneurship. So we picked the restaurant industry because that's the, that's one of the industries that we think was impacted most by COVID-19. And we really wanted to pick them because we thought that the skill sets of our associates and our EMs really match some of the needs that our businesses had. So that's, I think that's one of the main reasons why we picked the restaurant industry. I think that's one of our main innovative aspects. How did you develop the curriculum or content for your program? Did you engage any partners? So in terms of the content, we just uh, we just decided in, uh, initially when in our uh, client meeting and then in terms of the events, what would be the most relevant topic for consulting? And we had a poll decided amongst the associates and that's how we- Your time has now expired. Thank you, University of Toronto, St. George.